Hi everyone, today is June 7th of 24. In this video I will talk about how to transition your trees that were given head start under the lights in a grow room under full spectrum lights to the outside conditions and the sun. And I am in zone 6B Southeast Michigan. So you can compare my area to yours, possibly even 7A. In now many areas, uh, they are in 7A. You can also grow your trees in ground with protection. Lately, we do have warmer weather, so the trees are maybe able there to um, be grown in ground. However, if you wish to produce and ripen figs of any variety regardless of how late this variety is then the best way will be to give a tree a head start in the greenhouse that would be another example or in a grow room like what I'm doing under full spectrum lights and uh, no matter of how good quality of these uh, lights um, are and how many of them you have it in, in that room, the trees will receive a much less intensity than what they will be exposed to the outside conditions uh, and to the sun. Sun is just much, much stronger, and especially because of the UV rays, it will cause sunburn of these trees if they were taken uh, from the grow room outside within 15 or 20 minutes they will um, be burned to the point that it, they could drop down. So uh, for that reason, this transition can, has to be taken um, uh, slowly, give the tree as much time as it needs to adapt. How much time depends on your work, how much work you are willing to, um, to give them if you are able, for example, to take the tree outside in the morning um, and the late afternoon, expose them for maybe 15-20 minutes and then bring them in the shaded area every day, that tree will adapt to the sun much, much sooner, gradually exposing uh, more and more uh, their leaves to the sun or if you're gonna keep them in the shading area uh, under shade cloth like what I'm using and I'm not able to do this every day it's gonna take longer month maybe even longer right now these trees are between three and four weeks adapting to the Sun and um, you don't have to worry first of all that uh, this process is taking too long the trees probably are way ahead of the trees that are grown the conventional, con conventional way, uh, kept stored in the sheds and garages. The fruit is already formed, and I'm talking about main crop. Most of my trees already had uh, brebas and they were already ripe, ripened. So now these trees will start uh, ripening their main crop within a month and then you have uh, July, August, September to ripen even the latest ripening varieties and in the last couple of years at least in my area September was actually nicer to ripen figs than August August was um, very rainy and colder compared to September. So there is plenty of time. You don't have to worry about taking, um, uh, giving this transition time too long, too much of time. As much as they need it, give it to them. Now let me just compare some of the trees uh, that were not given a head start. And uh, then I will show you the trees that were, how ahead of they are. And by the way, I will give you an analogy of uh, to understand why this process takes time just uh, think about yourself if you are exposing your skin to the sun in the spring and summer after spending whole fall and winter indoor covered up 
and your skin is going to be fragile. It, it will need time to adjust to the sun. Otherwise, in the first day, if you go to the beach uh, and not apply enough sunblock and use protection from the sun, um, um, sun uh, umbrellas, you will get sunburn. So same with our plants, there is no difference. Now let me just show you Hardy Chicago. This tree was not given a head start. It was kept in a cold storage. And uh, here are the size of the figlets. Now they're about maybe a size of a rice, rice grain or a wheat grain very small and let's compare it now to the Adriatic JH this tree has been transitioning now for about three weeks and you can see that these main crop figs are much much larger they will need probably another month and a half to two depending on the variety how late it is to ripen these figs so let me just also talk about another way of um, protecting your trees uh, uh, from sunlight. And that was uh, with a cowling clay or surround, uh, that's the brand that manufactures this, um, micronized um, white cowling clay. And I've been using this uh, in the past, however, now I'm um, not going to use it because of two reasons mainly. Uh, first, it needs to be reapplied constantly, especially in the first couple of weeks if it's raining. The film will be um, washed off somewhat after a rain. And also, um, the coating will reduce probably photosynthesis and will be stuck to the fruit. Now, my fruit is already uh, quite large and any figs that will ripen in the next month I will have to really wash off well and since I want my figs to be very ripe and soft it's harder to wash. So for that reason I'm using a shading cloth. Another way to use is uh, to give a protection is by using this uh, hoop house. Now underneath this outer layer and I'm adding now another tarp in there, there is a shading cloth 40% uh, light transmissant. Uh, underneath this. So some of the trees are stored in there. Let me show you another way and you can see here this very large silver maple on my neighbor's property and that's the west side so in the late afternoon I can keep my trees on that side right there. These are my premium varieties that had finished their ripening of brebas and now they are being adapting slowly to the outside and their um, conditions they're looking very nice this is craven scraping ponte tresa for example you can see And let's take a look of Bass's favorite fig. They had a very, very nice breva. So that's another way. Use a shade, a shaded area from a tree or an object. Now, in the back, you're gonna see now these trees, I'm gonna go from here, that are protected with a shading cloth. Now this is also a 40% shading cloth. You can see right there. And let me go inside. So what I do is on a day like this when it's overcast I'm uncovering this. And anytime when I'm at home also in the morning like I mentioned I will unroll or roll up sorry the shading cloth usually goes over this area and I'm keeping it in a um, behind this chicken wire one inch to protect it from the birds and animals 
so the cloth is rolled up and then I use some weight to keep it at the bottom this old piping and now when the sun is not too strong I will uncover and let these trees to enjoy um, weaker sun exposure and also this first row you can see these trees here will be adapted first so they're gonna go outside first and then these in the second row behind that are pretty much always underneath the shading cloth will be uh, brought to this side you can see here how nice this uh, Maltese beauty and it has been here for now three three and a half weeks and just because of the look of, of the leaves you can tell that uh, this uh, uh, transitioning now is going really well no damage on the leaves very healthy and this is what I wanted to see here behind me are the trees that uh, been uh, already transitioned they were in a cold storage so they are now producing figs here in the back there is uh, Peter's honey with uh, plenty of main crop I just want to show something here finally I'm having capri figs however these are now falling off not ready yet um, I have to this learn about how to use capri figs now there is another one that's uh, Cuervo Oscuro and uh, here it is uh, another one oops playing with the camera also they are dropping as you can see at the bottom but that's okay this is Butler that I got from Brian And here, just to show you inside, I had another layer, my previous layer of protection here. So, and some uh, premium varieties there. This is Colonel Littman's Black Cross there that uh, is now adjusting slowly. All right. Here also, what I do is to give my trees refreshment on a very hot day. I will give them a shower and I can go from here or most likely I will just use from the outside and spray from here just to refresh them when it's really really hot make sure that when you do so that sun is really not strong and that they are not uncovered they have to be protected with a shading cloth otherwise these droplets oh yeah I have to mention this so you don't get uh, confused Underway, otherwise the the water that's gonna be in the droplets on the surface of the leaves can act as a magnifier so if the Sun is burning strongly onto these it will basically cook the leaf so for that reason just do this in the late afternoon give them a nice uh, um, bath shower to refresh them from uh, if, if the weather especially is very very hot and since I'm talking about this I'm gonna just mention about the rain the rain is really really good for these trees okay let me just show you from here and uh, it will also refresh your tr trees but more importantly it will even also feed your trees rain also has uh, uh, nitrogen it has nitrates and I read that uh, during um, a storm especially lightning can release uh, the nitrogen and make it more soluble water soluble and then uh, it will be able to be absorbed by the by the plants so while rain water actually is a form of fertilizing here we have a, I have another breba ripening here that's uh, it it's raspberry jam 
hopefully I can make a, um, a review on this variety. And finally, let me just show you my trees that I'm here slowly adapting. This is Bordis or Negra Rimada. What you he see here, it's not um, a sunburn. This was just a um, area that was white because of the, the variety. I don't know if this is regular with Bordis or Negra Rimada to have, but my tree had this uh, even indoor. Lost of pigment there. But you can see that the rest of the branches are variegated. And uh, I think I had said everything that I want during this video about transitioning your, of your trees. Just take your time and uh, this process will go smoothly. And then next time probably I will show you my trees when they are in this area behind that's uh, protected also from the birds and uh, I will then give you a tour of my fig orchard. That's all for this video. In the next video I will talk about uh, fertilizing of your trees especially now that they are outside. Okay. Thank you for watching and until next video, take care.